Hi ladies and gentlemen, in this instructional video you'll learn how to write equations in slope intercept form given two points on the line. You will need your math notebook and a pencil to jot down some examples and notes and your math textbook to complete some checkpoint questions that I'll share with you at the end of the video. Take a moment to pause the video and jot down this slide in your notebook. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, to calculate slope intercept form with two ordered pairs, um, two, two ordered pairs that are on the line, the first thing you're going to need to do is to calculate the slope. So this is just a reminder that slope is y, or excuse me, m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So step number one will be to calculate the slope. Once we have the slope, we can repeat our work from yesterday and we can calculate the y-intercept with one of the ordered pairs. All right, let's do an example. So the directions will look something like this. Um, write an equation in slope-intercept form for the two given points on the line. The first thing I will suggest to you is to label the ordered pairs. So 3 and 4 both represent the x values. So I'm going to label them as x, and because 3 is the ordered pair that comes first, I always label that as x sub 1, and because 4 is the ordered pair that is second, I always label that x sub 2. All right, then I'm going to do the same with my y values. 8 is y. I'm going to label that y sub 1, again, because it's in the first ordered pair. And 10 is y sub 2, because it's in the second ordered pair. All right, so I'm going to follow the notes that you just jotted down, and I'm going to calculate slope first. So what I'm going to do is I am going to write down my formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And I'm simply going to, going to just substitute my values in. So y sub 2 is 10. So I'm going to do 10 minus y sub 1 is 8. So 10 minus 8 over x sub 2 is 4 minus 3. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what I have here is 2. 10 minus 8 is 2 over 4 minus 3 is 1. So my slope is 2 or 2 over 1. So here is my final answer for slope. But again, I didn't, I didn't finish because it says I have to write an equation in slope-intercept form. So step one is done. I calculated my slope. Now what I need to do is calculate my y-intercept. And from here, you just need one of the ordered pairs. And it doesn't matter which ordered pair you use. So for um, this example, I'm just going to use the first ordered pair. Um, I'm going to substitute x in, or 3 in for x, 8 in for y, and m, I'm going to use 2. So I'm going to take that information and plug it into y equals mx plus b, just following my procedure from yesterday. So 8 is at, uh, y, m is 2, I can put 2 over 1 if I wanted to, but I don't have another fraction, so I'm going to just leave it as 2, x is 3, plus b. All right, so from here I'm going to multiply 2 times 3. So I'll get 8 equals 6 plus b. I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides. And I'll get 2 equals b. All right, I'm not finished yet because 2 equals b does not represent an equation in slope-intercept form. So from here, I'm going to take the two values that I just calculated. I'm going to substitute them into y equals mx plus b. I'm going to put 2 in for my slope, I just calculated that, and I'm going to put 2 in for my y-intercept. So my equation is y equals 2x plus 2. And that's my final answer. Just to be sure you've got that, let's try this, let's try one more example. All right, so I have two more ordered pairs that are on a line. Remember, the first thing I need to do is label my, my um, values. I'm going to label negative 3 and my 9 as my x sub 1 and y sub 1, and positive 3 as x sub 2, and 12 as x sub, or y sub 2. 
I'm going to substitute those values in for slope. So all I'm doing right now is calculating my slope, just like we've done earlier in this chapter. Always putting the formula first, so I'm communicating to you how I'm getting my answer. All right, y sub 2 is 12 minus 9, that's y sub 1, over 3, now watch your negatives here, minus negative 3. I'm going to change that um, minus a negative into add the opposite. And when I do that, I will get 12 minus 9 is 3 over 6, which means my slope is a positive 1 half. I'm running out of room here, so I'm just going to put it off to the side. m equals 1 half. So there's my slope. Okay, and again, um, the directions say to write an equation of a line and slope intercept form, not calculate the slope or just calculate the slope. So now I have to um, calculate the y-intercept. So I can pick any, either of the ordered pairs, it doesn't matter. I'll pick the second one. And I substitute the values for x, y, and m into y equals mx plus b. 12 is y. m I just calculated is 1 half. x is 3. And I'll leave b in for b because I don't know what it is. All right, so I'm going to solve. 12 equals half of 3 is 1 and a half. So 1 and a half, if you want to write it, write it as a decimal, go ahead, 1.5. That'll work too. I'm going to subtract 1 and a half on both sides. And 10 and a half equals B. So there's my B value. And again, ladies and gentlemen, I still have not finished the problem because I need to write... My, my I have to write an equation in slope-intercept form. So now I need to plug those values into y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to plug in my slope, my 1 half in for m, and I'm going to plug in 10 and a half for b. So here's my final answer. y equals 1 half x plus 10 and a half. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the checkpoint questions. Open up your textbook to page 200, complete questions one through four, and write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form given two points. Once you have, have those complete, check in with your math teacher. Good luck.